the difference between static ip and residential ip address hello guys welcome to my youtube channel hustlers kingdom movement here i teach people how to make money online with their smartphone if this is your very first time coming across my channel please can you subscribe and turn on the notification bell in today's video i'm going to be teaching the difference between static ip address and residential ip address and i'm also going to be explaining on which service to use static ip address and residential ip address because all of these addresses have uses and purposes right so let's dive in so i'm going to be diving into my um what's it called into my browser and as you can see over here my ip is showing benin city nigeria right and these are the numerical numbers but before then let's still move on and check what is the what is the meaning of static ip address now from the dictionary you can see that a static ip address is a unique numerical address assigned to a device or a network that remains constant and does not change over time so what they are trying to say here is that this ip address is a unique one assigned to a particular device and it does not change now what they are trying to mean is that the ip address it does not change till it expired you understand because every ip address has expir expiration dates it doesn't matter maybe you are doing a daily sub a weekly sub a bi-week sub a monthly sub three months six months or one year sub right so now let's check what is because they say a static ip address is a unique numerical address right so numeric let's check the num numerical address so here is the numerical here is example of a numerical address for those of you that do not understand so this number you're seeing here 105 to uh, 112 this other side is 221 and here is 97 right these are numerical what address of the ip so this numerical address it does not change that's what makes it static you understand it makes it static it does not change see it expire right so let's check the meaning of um residential ip so I also type on the internet that is on google what is residential ip and from here you can see a residential ip is an internet protocol address assigned to a device by an internet service provider for use in residential area like a home or apartment these ip are typically associated with every device like computer phones and tablets they are seen as legitimate and trustworthy by website because they are used by real people not data centers or servers now you can also reason why i'm selling a residential address right now if you notice from this word now from this word now now let me point out the key points they say this ip are typically associated with everyday device like computer phones like computer phones tablets they are seen as legitimate legitimate and trustworthy by website right by website because they are used by real because they are they are used by real see the word real then people right not data center or servers so that's the reason why you see we, we are talking about um residential ip residential ip right it is more of like a real people okay now let's for instance if you are using your normal isp which is internet service provider and you are not using a connection of vpn now that's res uh, that uh, uh, what's it called the ip you are using that is the internet protocol it is residential because it is a real person operating it right on their smartphone on their computer or on their laptop or on their ipad are you getting it so residential ip are for real people that's why the residential ip if you use it to access survey side they will assume those survey company will assume that okay this is a real user that came in into our site so let's give him access let's allow him but if you use other ip address right they are going to allow you but they'll be thinking maybe you are you are using a business server or something something like that so they may they may not allow because they are not looking for business people they are looking for real users to give quality answer 
and responses quality and what answers and responses so that's why you see they say these ips are typically associated with everyday device like computer phones and tablets they are seen as legitimate and trustworthy by by what website because they are used by real people so now if you are doing hey cash um five sub b whatever 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 residential ip is very good because it shows that your real person coming into their website to come and give a quality and a good answer not coming with a business address on um, what's it called on uh, website so now let's practice the difference right let's conduct a little test so now as you can see so now as you can see from this side here my ips is showing is showing benin benin city nigeria if i refresh now if i refresh if i refresh now you can see see that this ips do not change right let me still refresh again refresh again you will still notice that it did not change you can see it did not change right now the reason why this ips is not changing is because it's a static ips internet service provider right look at it it's still constant let me point it out very well let me point it out very well you can see so is a static is a static ip okay guys so let's check for the residential ip address right so now um i think i have i have my proxy already set up for me and i'm going to be connecting it right so as you can see over here the proxy has connected and let's go and check right let's go and check so what i'm going to be doing here is that i'm going to refresh from this view here so you can see what is showing me from here it's showing 75.61.158.146 right that's the pro the ip address over here right so let's check the ip address from the proxy let's compare it if it's the same thing now this is the ip address from the proxy that's the main server right it's showing 142.132.169.43 it shows that this is a residential why because normally if it's a static this is what we're supposed to be seeing in war.net right but now we're seeing another thing there it means it's a residential ip address and it changes from time to time you can see there's difference with this with this right so let me bring it this way right you can see this is 75.61 this is 142.132 you can see there is a whole lot of differences so this shows that this proxy ip address is a residential ip address right that's us checking from war.net because this with from time to time it will be changing to be changing it will be changing right but that static will not change like for instance now if i stop this proxy are you seeing it then i come back to my word to refresh it will still take me to my ip address in benin city right watch and see you see in benin city over here can you see it so now residential ip address is good on multiple accounts even on single account is still good but it's mainly good on multiple accounts you understand why um single ip address is good on static 
on, 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 a, on a single account. So let's say for instance, now you want to run a survey that has high, high, high security. You need to focus on, you need to focus on, what is it called? You need to focus on static IP address because it does not change, right? And because of um, those surveys are having high security now, you, you may not want to be opening multiple accounts, right? So you need to use static IP address for that. But if the survey does not have strong security, you can do multiple accounts on one device, but you need to use residential. Why? Because residential changes. Now, for those of you that does not understand what is IP, IP means internet protocol. And those of you that does not understand what is ISP, ISP means internet service provider. So internet protocol is like a means, right? Internet service provider is like a means too, right? Of providing um, what was it called? The internet, such as like we will have MTN, Glow, Nine Mobile, and um, what was it called? Airtel. And same thing in US, we have um, um what was it called? We have um very soon we have Vodafone, sorry, we have very soon we have an uh, AT&T, we have um T-Mobile, and in New York we have um I say in New York in um UK we have um. What was it called? We have Vodafone, we have um we have T-Mobile and different network. Different network. Different network. So that's it. So guys, if you find this video very helpful, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Don't also forget to share to your friends and loved ones. I will see you guys in my next video. See you later. Bye.